Um, welcome everyone. Thanks so much for joining for this uh, session. Um, it is going to be a super jam packed hour. So I hope you're all looking forward to it and uh, hearing about our fellowships. Um, just to walk you through a bit uh, through the agenda. So we'll start off with welcome and introductions. I will then explain to you a little bit about the diversity fellowship program. So if you've never heard of these in your life, then you've come to the right place. And if you are kind of sure, but want some tips and tricks before you submit your application, then you're also in the right place. Um, then somebody very well qualified to talk about uh, this topic will explain to you why mentorship is important at BCG and just in general. We'll then move on to the panel discussion where you'll get to meet some previous fellows and also some of our mentors. And then if you're convinced to apply, which I'm sure you will be, um, we'll go through how to actually uh, go about that. And then we'll have about 15 minutes for Q&A at the end. So don't uh, uh, save your questions if they're super relevant for me or for the panel um, right until the end, but uh, just so that you know, we will have some, some time then as well. And um, I will quickly introduce myself and uh, tell you who you will meet today. So all of these friendly faces, um, you'll get to uh, learn about these BCGers, um, learn about their diverse backgrounds and what brought them to BCG. Um, we'll get to learn about them in more detail now. So we won't do any spoilers uh, for now, but um, I will start off by introducing myself. I'm Clara. I'm the one who's uh, been in your inbox recently. And uh, I work at the BCG Diversity, Equity and Inclusion Recruiting Team for BCG, uh, which is somewhat of a dream job. I started off in the Johannesburg office and maybe my uh, accent's already giving that away. Um, and I started off nearly five years ago and I am now in the Amsterdam office. Um, before the rest introduce themselves, I want to highlight that these uh, who you see in the middle on the bottom row, um, is my colleague and teammate, and she will be monitoring the chat. So if you have a question, please feel free to type it in the chat. If you want it to be asked out anonymously, you can also just um, private message her. Um, otherwise, uh, she, will, she will just read it out. Um, Dean, if I could move over to you, and if you could just get, give a very brief overview of who you are and um, what you do. Absolutely. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Dina Paris. I'm based in the Boston office. I've been with BCG for nearly 13 years. Uh, my current role is um, a leadership coaching and development director, and I lead uh, the COE focused on that um, space. And I'll be uh, having some fun time with you guys today. I think that's it, right, Clara? Was that good? That's perfect. You nailed it. All right, good. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and number one, done. Good. Done. Guy, over to you. Yes, thank you, Clara. I am Guy Gambeket. I am project leader in Casablanca office. I have been at BCG now for four years and I am working in the digital acceleration system, meaning I spend 50% of my time doing digital projects and 50% doing strategy projects. Thank you very much. I'm really happy to be here with you today. Great, thanks. Ines. Hi everyone, um, this is Ines. I, I joined BCG in 2015 in Madrid office. And then in 2017, I transferred to Dubai and I've been working here in travel and tourism since then. And yes, I just came back from maternity leave a couple of months ago. So coming back to reality, I'm very happy to be with all of you here. Thank you, Ed. And Shalom. Hi everyone, I'm Shalom. I am a new consultant in the BCG Johannesburg office. Um, I was part of the inaugural class of BCG Women's MBA Fellowship in 2020, and also a graduate of the INSEAD MBA program, class of 2020, Jay. Right, Vis? Yes, hi, I'm Vis, and I'm uh, working together with Clara in the diversity, equity, and inclusion team. And today I will uh, monitor the chat, so please reach out to me directly. Um, and if you have a specific question of one of the persons on the panel, let me know so I can uh, redirect the question. And uh, looking forward to this hour. Thanks, Beef. And Yinshan. Hey, everyone. I'm Yinshan, and I'm from Singapore. And I'm in the midst of completing my MBA right now at the University of Cambridge Church Business School. 
Um, I will be joining the BCG Singapore office when I'm done with my MBA. And I'm also currently um, this year a BCG MBA fellow. And my background prior to the MBA is in public sector, working in the central bank and also social sector consulting. And it's awesome to be with you here today. Great. Thank you very much. So uh, as I said, uh, you've come to the right place if you want to learn a bit more about our diversity MBA fellowships. So I'll quickly uh, run through it. But basically BCG is offering diversity MBA fellowships who, uh, which are aimed at um, currently underrepresented uh, individuals in the business community who are starting their MBA specifically at NTR, ESA, Asadi, LBS, Cambridge Judge, or Oxford Said this year. So uh, August, September, uh, October for some schools. And at the moment, we are offering two fellowship programs or opportunities. The one is the Women's MBA Fellowship, and the other one is the Ethnic and Cultural MBA Fellowship. So if the Women's MBA Fellowship sounds uh, familiar, it's because we are in the third edition, this year's the third edition of the Women's MBA Fellowship, and uh, uh, Shalom and Yinshan um, are from the previous editions, as they mentioned. However, we are super proud and delighted to have just launched the Ethnic and Cultural MBA Fellowship this year, and we hope to build even further um, and expand the scope um, in future editions. Now you're probably wondering um, what's in it for me and uh, why should I apply? But um, in a nutshell, we have over 30 different offices from across uh, Europe, Africa, Middle East, South America, and Southeast Asia uh, who are participating. And you can get the full list of these offices on the website, um, which I can share in the chat um, or send it afterwards. And um, yeah, basically what uh, you will get if you are selected as a fellow, is um, one year of one-on-one -on -one mentoring from a senior BCG uh, mentor. And uh, you will hear a bit from uh, Guy and Inez in a bit uh, more about that. Um, you'll also get invitations to local um, office uh, events, fellowship events, skill building webinars, um, which we hope will develop your personal and professional um, development. And then also to the very vast uh, BCG network, and, and really feel a part of the, the BCG family, we hope. And then additionally, um, fellows will also stand the chance to receive a scholarship. The scholarship is uh, supposed to aid your personal and professional development at the MBA. So either through tuition fees, training courses, um, MBA outing expenses. Of course, um, I will not be checking what you spend this on. So it really could be anything. Um, but indeed, it is supposed to um, support your MBA experience. All right. Dean, I'm going to hand over to you now. Um, and uh, yeah, please go ahead. Thank you, Clara. So for the I'm going to spend some time with you guys for the next 30 minutes, actually. Um, and for the next, for the first 10, spend some time on mentorship. Why is it important? What does it really mean? Things for you to consider and think about as a mentee, um, if that is actually a word, um, and, and what you want to think about, whether you're part of this fellowship or not, just mentorship in general. And then we'll shift gears and we'll have a panel discussion with Inez Guy, Yin Shen, and Shalom. And we'll talk about their journeys up to this point um, the role of mentorship in the fellowship in their own careers, and um, ask them to um, share some words of wisdom as well. So uh, not a, not to set a high bar, guys, but uh, you know mm -hmm. we're going to be looking for some real wisdom here. So why don't we? Um, what I want to do is talk first about the essence of the essence of BCG, and if we can, this is a build slide, so we'll start here. Anna. So at the bottom, you'll see we're going to build a house here. Um, at the bottom of our house, and this is internal, what we use um, internally to have conversations around purpose, around values, and around principles. These are our values here at BCG. This is essentially who we are, these nine components. So this builds the base 
of, of BCG and many of our, um, how we operate. And if you go to the next little build, these are our principles. And you'll see these five. We actually have um, purpose principle um, um, awards that go out and people nominate um, individuals, uh, CEO type awards. And it's really interesting um, and really exciting to see all of the things that people do within BCG. And I wanna draw your attention to the far right one, which is grow by growing others, because mentorship lands directly in grow by growing others. And let's do one more build and I'm gonna come back to grow by growing though, yeah. So our purpose at BC BCG and purpose is why do we exist? It's unlocking the potential of those who advance the world. And in order to do that, we need to have some really strong individuals within BCG. And to do that, we want to ensure that they're growing, that they're developing, that they are learning. And it goes across all of us. And we do that in very in many, very different, very many different ways, uh, including formal programs, training programs, uh, apprenticeship uh, approach to work, different types of projects um, like Enos has moved from Spain to to uh, get where you said you were to where you are Good now <laughs> thank you <laughs> it's like I know it's somewhere else um, it's all kinds of opportunities to grow and to develop and to learn from one another and mentorship is one of those and it's unique in the sense that it's having almost a personal guide so this is somebody who has walked down a similar path that you may be walking down, but ahead of you. They're able to share their experiences, share their ideas, share the things that they have found along the way that have been supportive or not supportive to them. And it's, it's tailored to you and them. And it's a really nice one-on-one -on -one relationship. And, and going into that relationship, you get the most out of it by, by knowing what you need and what you want out of that relationship. So if we can go to the next slide. So think about this house, this essence of the, the BCG house. You can apply this to yourself as well and really think about your values. Who am I? What are the standards by which I live? My principles. So how do I, how do I live those values? What's my vision? Where do I want to be? What do I where where do I want to be? Who do I want to be? And then your purpose, why why I exist. So I, I said I've got about 10 minutes with you. So I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to tackle the purpose and why we each exist in these short minutes. But this is something to consider and think about, right? The more clarity you have around your own values, the principles, vision, and purpose. I don't know how many of you are familiar with Ikigai but it's an interesting concept. If you're interested in learning about purpose, um, I would suggest checking that out and I can put it in the chat when I'm done talking. Um, but learning about your own values can be extremely helpful um, in well, all kinds of things. But in this context within mentorship is going, okay, I know who I am. I know where I want to be. I know why, what my strengths are, what I am passionate about, or maybe I'm trying to figure it out. And you can use your mentor to guide them. And so when you have your mentor conversations, this is somebody who can help you make, share their information. And then the two of you talk about how does that make sense for you, right? So just because somebody has taken a certain path, that doesn't mean that you need to take the same path. What that is, is information for you. And when you have clarity about your own house, now you can start to take in that information and that mentor can support you. I would also suggest having um, a personal board of directors. And what I mean by that is each of us have a mentor, um, but it's really nice to have a number of mentors. And I like to call it, a colleague of mine externally called it the personal board of directors. So each of, throughout your life, throughout your career, I mean, I've been in, I've been doing what I've been doing for, you know, I've been working for 30 years. I've had a number of different mentors and I tend to have more than one at any point in time, but I don't have the same mentor or same board of directors now as I did when I was 23 years old either, when I first came out of, started working. 
it changes, it shifts. Think about organizations, they change their boards, they bring in different people with different expertise to have a diversified concept or, or diversified conversations and bring in new and fresh ideas. Do the same with your mentors, have a, have a number of different mentors that can support you and help you. And I'm talking about not just in our fellowship, but just in life, right? As you continue on in your career. And I think you'll find that that brings a richness and a diversity, diversification of thought that's going to help support you. So you bring in all of these ideas from these different people that you choose um, very carefully and trust, and they bring you information. You have this clarity of these values and hopefully principles, vision, and purpose. You start to make sense of that. And then you bring it back to the work that you're doing and it helps you advance or helps you navigate your career and, and where you want to be and where you want to head. So those are some thoughts. I think if you're able to do that, like I said, growing and developing, growing, um, growing others is really important at BCG. And this is one way that we, we like to do it is through the mentorship. And I think mentoring and being a mentor can also help you grow, develop too and learn in different ways. But being a mentor, being a mentee, there's some really nice opportunities in there. So I think I'll pause there. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Dina. I, I'm sure that resonated with a lot of folks on the call. I think in that case, we can actually move over to the panel discussion. Great. And, and on what I just talked about, any questions, any thoughts, throw them in the chat. Happy to answer anything at the end of the, of the conversation as well. So I'm really excited about this. Um, I'm really, really looking forward to having a, this conversation with the four, the four of you. And to get us going, I would love um, for each of you to take a short, short moment to share a little bit of the overview of your career journey thus far um, and how you ended up in the fellowship and or BCG. I'd love to hear, um, hear your journey. So I'm just going to go in order this time and then I'll, I'll, I'll mix it up next time. So Guy, if you don't mind going first, that would be great. Yes, uh, thank you, thank you, Dana. Uh, again, I graduated in 2017 from London Business School. Uh, this is where I did my MBA after doing a career in another firm from 2008. Then I joined BCG uh, in September 2017, uh, where I started to be involved in many initiatives like uh, mentorship of new uh, new joiners, new BCGs, and I started. I did some some uh, work in uh, training, development, etc. So uh, besides the activity where I mentor my team in in the cases, uh, this is the these are the kind of activities have I have been uh, through since I joined BCG. So I have been PL now for more than than a year, close to two years now. And yes, this is a bit uh, how, how I, I am here. I am supporting diversity and inclusion fellowship because I believe, I strongly believe in the fact that a more diverse area, a more diverse firm uh, will bring, uh, of course, more results. And it is something that will push, put the firm as a, at a position where we want to be, we need to be uh, toward our client and toward the community. It is so, it's, uh, it's uh, really important for me to, to work in this, uh, in this area. Excellent. Thank you so much. Ines, do you want to take a shot? Sure. So just to give you a little bit more overview of my background, I studied law and business administration in Madrid. And then I joined uh, Strategian for eight months. And then I, I moved to BCG. Uh, and I spent two years in Madrid doing mainly energy. Um, and then actually, I, I thought of doing an MBA, but then my, my husband, um, was also a consultant by that time. And then because we studied administration, we thought, why don't we try maybe something different uh, than doing an MBA? And that is why we, we did this secondment to the Dubai office. So I went with BCG and he went uh, with his company and then it was gonna be a, a temporary uh, program. So we, we came for two years, but we really like it here. So that is when we did this permanent transfer and I'm based in, in the Dubai office. Um, I promoted to PL in September, but then as I said, I had my second child in October. So I went on maternity and I 
came back three months ago. So I have been like five months of PL so far. And yeah, now I'm focused on, on travel and tourism. And and for me, um, I mean, since I joined PCG, I have been supporting recruiting all the time. It's it's something I really enjoyed, uh, like helping people also to on the journey because I mean, I know it's not an easy, easy journey also to join BCG. But then now in Dubai, I'm I'm the captain also of the woman recruiting channel. Um, because as, as you can imagine, and, and we are improving on that year by year, but the, the percentage of, of females that we have is, is lower than, than men. And I really want to support there because I feel as, as Guy was explaining, like there's so much that diversity brings to the table. And I know there are special moments in our life. For example, in my case, when I had kids, here, my mentors played a key role for me also to continue to continue with BCG. So, so I, I'm trying to do the same for others. Thank you. Shalom. Hi, Dinan. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Shalom again. I'm Nigerian Ghanaian, and I worked in telecommunications and product development in West Africa for about five years before my MBA at INSEAD. Um, I just began at the BCG Johannesburg office about three months ago um, as a consultant working on digital transformation strategy cases, um, predominantly for industrial goods clients. Um, just like a lot of you on this call, I heard about a fellowship through my career development center at INSEAD, and I applied because it was right before business school started, and I was really interested in getting to know about the firm, the industry, given that I was from a very different industry and was interested in recruiting for consulting. And I thought that the fellowship would be a very good channel to um, obtain as much knowledge and information about consulting and about BCG specifically. And that's why I applied. Thank you. Yinshan. Hey everyone, Yinshan here. So actually prior to my MBA, I was an assistant director at the central bank and that's known as the Monetary Authority of Singapore, if you guys aren't so familiar with Singapore. And at the Central Bank, I was actually working on industry-wide transformation projects in, in finance, public policy, and monetary policy implementation. And I found my work to be very meaningful and impactful. Um, additionally, I was on the founding team of an award-winning social sector consultancy, and um, we had served over 200 nonprofits across Southeast Asia. And I think that's really where I personally cemented my passion for consulting. It was through the positive impact that I had um, in the work that I was doing. So I decided to apply for the fellowship because I've always been inspired by the impactful work that BCG does. And I feel that BCG's values are very much in line with my own. So quite similar to what Dina was sharing, you know, it stems from a place where I've reflected on my own values and that's about creating positive impact on the world, diversity and inclusion of pe people and ideas, as well as um, thought leadership. So I was really curious about the culture at BCG, especially for women, and thought that it would be an incredible way to get to know BCG at a deeper level by being mentored by a senior female mentor within BCG. Um, I've also always been a part of various mentorship programs, both as a mentee and a mentor. And I found them to be just really great platforms for professional and personal growth. So I really hi highly encourage everyone to apply for this fellowship program. Excellent, thank you. I'd love to hear um, from, from Inez and from Guy a little bit about how mentorship has played a part in your career and what about participating as a mentor in these fellowships attracted you to doing so? Yes, do you want to start us off? Yeah. So, um, as I said, and, and also I relate a lot to what you were explaining before, Dina. I feel I have had several mentors during my career. And so with BCG, we have more official figures, let's say. So when you start in BCG, they allocate you like a career advisor. You also have a buddy when you join. So you have several official figures. But then also when you start working, you meet people that you connect to and they tend to become your mentors, right? And actually those are the mentors I feel I have enjoyed the most. And and for me, it has been a, a critical piece of, of, I feel why I'm still here today. Like there were some moments where I was not sure if I was doing the correct thing or I had some doubts and 
and mentors played a, a key role um, to help me, to support me, to find solutions where I could only see problems or to, to help me understand or frame things from a different perspective. So to me, it has helped me a lot, especially when I had when I had the kids. And I mean, of course, this, this work is demanding. And um, in that situation, I, I have one particular mentor that, that support me a lot. And, and yeah, and, and that is why, as I said, for me, I really want to play this role for other people too. For me, it has been very, very important. And so far, I did two years of the fellowship program. The second year, I was partly on maternity, so I couldn't, I couldn't do all of it. But it's even so enriching for me to hear uh, the other, the questions that the fellows have and their experiences. But also what I try to share with them, it's a very transparent view of what we do. Because it's true that sometimes when you go to recruiting presentations on what you see, you might perceive that it's not 100% of the reality. So I always try to bring all the different perspectives to the table and try to uh, be as transparent as possible on what do we do and yeah, and what mm. is our life here. Mm. I love the difference between reality, you know, look, let me tell you exactly what's really going on here. <laughs> like, that's part of the mentor's role, right? It's like, let me tell you really what's happening. And, and recruiting is wonderful, but getting that real, it's really helpful. I, I, I think that's really wonderful. Gee, can you share a little bit about, um, about yes. uh, your, your experience? Yeah. Yes, sure. Um, actually, I totally relate with what uh, yes, just sh you just shared. Um, I, I started, when I started my career in another firm, I had mentors and I was also at a certain point also a mentor of other people. I could see then how uh, I got from that mentorship and how I help people being, being uh, mentored. Now, when I went to the MBA at London Business School for the two years, I actually, I didn't have a mentor during that, that period. And I clearly saw what was the difference between like having a mentor in an environment that the person already knows versus not having a mentor. So I did a lot, let's say a lot of mistake during my MBAs and the way I took even recruiting, the way I was thinking how like companies come to approach a candidate, what they are looking for. I, I got it at the first time, like completely wrong. Now, Finally, the, the, I will say the, the, the turning point uh, is when I, I spoke with a, another, another person in the class, uh, just above my, my class, and she just told me one, one session, and she told me that, okay, you are doing here the wrong thing. And I think I was missing completely the information. And I, I strongly believe that um, the mentor, when you have a mentor, the most important asset that the mentor will bring to you is an accurate representation of what you expect and this is something uh, that is so valuable when you have the information you behave differently then when i joined bcg this is why i was saying one of the first thing i joined bcg i i i registered to do was being part of a learning and development and mentor coach like other uh, people that are joining the firm just to let them know okay this is what you know maybe about BCG, et cetera. This is what it actually looked like. And surprisingly, I had like some of the, of the best people I, I coached during the learning and development wrote back to me a couple of months later to tell me that, thank you, because the information actually helped us a lot. So for me, the most important thing that you should get out of this, if you want to go to that path and have a mentor, information, getting the information right, the support. And of course, the, the one, one important thing is you will have a mentor with complete different background, complete different experience than yours. Working together, mentorship is a two-way conversation, right? Uh, and working together with that person, setting your objective and working together to that person, for that person to help you achieving yours, uh, will bring you to a point that you cannot even imagine now. Mm -hmm. Excellent, yeah. And I think one of the things that you said that struck me was getting the information. And what's interesting is that every individual, because of, uh, which you all touched on, is unique. Their experiences are also unique. And therefore, not to harp on it, but having that board of directors, that personal board of directors, helps you to see different experiences. 
all four of you have had different experiences thus far. I've had different experience and, and Clara's had different experience and Reese has had different experience. So all of us, and the more information you have, the better off you'll be able to make sense of it, especially if you have clarity around your house. Thank you both. And I'd love to hear now from, from Yinshan and, and Shalom around what your experience has been with the fellowship. I saw some note, some questions coming in for you guys too. So hopefully we can hit on these either now or later, but what did you learn? What, what was the program like for you? Yinshan, I'll start with you. <clears throat> oh, you're on mute. You muted instead of unmuted. There you go. Yeah, sure thing. Um, so I think broadly speaking, I've, I've really enjoyed the fellowship program and found it to be a great value add to my MBA experience, um, particularly in expanding my perspectives as well as my network. So due to circumstances, I've actually had the opportunity to be mentored by two amazing ladies. Um, one is a principal and another is a partner and both are actually from the Kuala Lumpur office in Malaysia. So I had quite a bit in common with them in terms of the background, um, luckily for me and interest as well. So both of them were in public sector consulting and because I myself have a background in public sector, it was really easy to connect with them. And one thing that I really wanted to highlight is that it's actually really up to you what you want to get out of the mentorship. So it's really good to be proactive. So for example, for myself, I like to come up with a range of topics and questions before every mentoring session so that there is actually a direction in our sessions and that really makes it a lot easier for your mentor as well. And um, I particularly enjoy understanding from a woman's point of view, how my mentors manage their personal and family lives together with these very engaging and demanding careers at BCG. And it's really amazing and encouraging because you know one of my mentors has four young children and she's still working at BCG and having a really good time. Um, I also had a consulting project on my MBA program, and that was for the country of Georgia on growing their fintech ecosystem. And it was great that I could actually tap on my mentor's expertise and get her views on the project as well. So I think it's, it's really up to the individual how they want to utilize the mentorship program. Um, and apart from the mentorship, um, the MBA fellows also get invited to various events like Women's Forum Global Meetings. Um, case prep sessions and a virtual cooking class, which was fun. Um, and I think one last thing I wanted to point out was that it's really a great opportunity as a BCG MBA fellow to reach out and network with the other parts of BCG globally that you may be interested in. So for example, for me, I was personally interested in the Henderson Institute, which is like the think, th think tank unit of BCG. So I just reached out to the chairman there, who's Martin Reeves. He recently published a book called The Imagination Machine and had a good chat. And you'll find it incredible how approachable and friendly BCG people are in general. And that's, that's really something I've loved about my journey, finding out about the culture of BCG. Cool. I think that's a really good point. It's such a great opportunity. And your mentor is also someone that can give you some different ideas of who to talk to and where to go and to learn about things as well. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Shalom. Great. So um, I also appreciated my time as an MBA fellow. I um, particularly loved the coaching and guidance I received from my mentor while I was in school. Um, I, I had the opportunity to have a mentor who was an INSEADA and she had just graduated um, INSEAD three years before I went in. Um, so our conversations were able to range from BCG to consulting to things like what electives to take on campus and when to switch campuses. And in that way, we were able to build um, a bond that went just beyond the formal um, uh, coaching um, framework. And that might happen if you become a fellow, but I also know of situations and instances where the relationship is a lot more formal or you don't have as much in common. And just as Yin Chen said, what is important is that you're able to leverage that connection um, and obtain the best value you can from it. In my case, it was twofold. The value I think I received was twofold. One was the relationship I built with my mentor and the other were the networks and connections I built at BCG, which is something that I would, um, I would all people to do if they get into the fellowship, which is just leverage the fellowship to reach out and network with other BCGS because BCGS in general are really open and are very nice. So I was able to build my network internally and 
um, meet people by reaching out. It's actually quite funny because I got the opportunity to, um, to meet Ines almost a year and a half ago in the Dubai office and for coffee and we just had a chat and that was when, that was right before I, I began recruiting um, actively um, during NCAD. And, and that's just another example of being able to just take the opportunities that exist to build a network at, at BCG, yes, even before you start. Mm. Excellent. Thank you all. And so we're gonna go into a final rapid round here. Well, it's only not really a round, it's only one question. <laughs> so each of you get to answer one question, which is um, a final thought, one a word, words of wisdom, advice, something that you want to ensure that they walk away with. So I'll, uh, I'll start, uh, actually Shalom, you're still on my screen. So I'll have, you, I'll have you start if you don't mind. Great, so what I would advise is that even though you're just going into school, um, I know for a lot of people going into an MBA, you go in with the perspective of recruiting and recruiting alone, but really enjoy your time in school, even if it's 10 months up until two years, um, seize every opportunity that comes your way. Um, apply for leadership roles, go on trips um, if you can, given the restrictions, the COVID restrictions, and make sure that your time at school is is holistically um, an educative experience um, because even if you did not get into the program, this program or any other program you might be interested in, um, leverage the opportunities you have in school to make sure that you enjoy your time there. Perfect. Yenshan? Yeah, I think maybe just as a word of encouragement to everyone that even if you do not think you have like a typical background that BCG may be looking for, or you don't have any experience in consulting, I'll say that if you're passionate about it and you're interested in about it, don't be intimidated and go ahead to apply. You actually have nothing to lose. And maybe just one tip I have for the applicants of the fellowship is that um, it will be great if you could get just some experience with case interviews, hopefully some real practice with someone who's more experienced than you to give you some good feedback, but also not to kind of neglect the behavioral and fit side of the interviews where you should really focus on letting your strengths and your personality shine. Mm, really good advice, yeah. Uh, Ines. So I, my advice here, and again, maybe also going a little bit back to reality. Um, <laughs> so don't be discouraged if you don't get selected with this or with any other process. I mean, me personally, I. When I came out of, of a university, I applied for McKinsey. I didn't get it. And then I started in Stradian. And then some months later, I decided to apply for VCE and I got the offer there and I'm super happy. So I don't know, my, yeah, my point is, don't be discouraged. If you don't get on this, you can try to apply for full time. And there are many opportunities on the way. So just keep trying if that is what you want to do because you will find many opportunities. Yeah, love that. And last but not least, Guy. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, for me, one key advice I will have for you here is you really need to know what you want to get out of your mentorship. Uh, if you if you, you you have a mentor and you want to go to that path, what do you want to get out of it? Like, and be open about your goal. It's so important to, if you are clear and open about your goal, the discussion, of course, will be more meaningful for you. Uh, you ask a lot of questions to your mentor. Your mentor is there uh, just to help you, to mentor you, and to give you the information that you need. So ask a lot of questions. Be clear about your goal again, and listen. Listen to, because someone who knows uh, will give you some, some, some hints uh, about what, what, what to expect and how to better navigate in where you are going. So... Uh, I hope that uh, we will see some of you uh, in a couple of months at, uh, at BCG. But again, uh, take, take the most out of your mentorship opportunity. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I, I just want to note that, you know, I've never, I've, I didn't meet any of you until, was it yesterday or the day before when we had a little pre-call? And these, this is the reason I've been at BCG for almost 13 years. These are the people. This is why I'm here. So thank you to each of you. And thank you for what you do at BCG. Really appreciate it. And I hope 
what you've shared has been helpful for everyone. I know it's been inspiring for me. So thank you, Clara, I'll hand it back to you. Thank you so much, Dina. And thanks so much for uh, to the panelists for their very open and candid answers. Um, much appreciated. Let me share my screen again and we can move on to the how to apply for those who are interested. Um, okay, so for those who are looking to apply and actually for those who have applied, I see some familiar names on the call um, and maybe this is also for you, but um, they are basically two rounds of uh, selection um, to get selected as a fellow. The first round is the screening. So you'll need to submit a resume and a motivation le uh, letter as well as a brief questionnaire. Now. I want to just spend a bit of time speaking about the motivation letter because I think a lot of people either don't submit it because they don't feel like it's important or maybe just it's kind of just a summary of their resume, uh, resume. But actually, we really look at this and this is really a key sort of factor when we decide who we're going to match you with. And I saw a question on that in the chat. So we have lots of people at BCG who we could link you up with to be your mentor. And that's why we really want to know what do you actually hope to get out of the fellowship and what do you look for in a mentor, right? We have uh, two fellowships, uh, as you know, the women's and the ethnic and cultural, but at BCG, we like to take a segment of one approach. So not all women and not all people of color would be interested in the same thing. So please really use your motivation letter and it doesn't have to be super long. Like I think 500 words is more than enough but really explain kind of what you hope to get out of this and, and use it as an opportunity to be really honest and candid um, about your expectations so that we can give you the most ideal uh, mentor. As everybody said already, you will be connected with, yeah, I think uh, north of 25, 30 people um, at BCG, but I think the mentorship, um, that's the person you have your monthly calls with. So it's important that we get that match right. And then um, if you are shortlisted to go to the interview rounds, um, then that will be made up of two parts. So the one is the online assessment. This is a 30 minute um, online case which you can uh, take from the comfort of your own home. It's a mix of qualitative, quantitative, uh, business judgment, business logic um, questions. And then at some point, uh, you will also do a case interview. This is about 45 minutes to an hour um, with a member of our consulting staff and actually uh, maybe your potential mentor as well. Um, I would say here that if you aren't, aren't familiar with the case interview, I would spend some time uh, looking at some materials, um, maybe practicing with a friend. Um, Yin Shan mentioned this as well, but I think you know it's uh, it's important to brush up on your mental maths, brush up on your uh, business judgment, and um, if you are shortlisted, the recruiter, your local recruiting contact, will give you some materials to look at, so you're not uh, um, all by yourself here. But um, it does require a little bit of um, time and, and a bit of effort here because it isn't just your standard regular interview. Having said that, there's also a plethora of uh, materials online which you can look into. And then in terms of the timeline, so the deadline is the 5th of July for all officers. Um, we will take some time to screen all of these applications and towards the 20th of July or so, all applicants will be communicated with regarding their candidacy. If you are shortlisted, the interview window from there um, will sort of take you to mid-August. Please note that there are a few offices at BCG which close over the summer or um, over August. So in that case, your um, local recruiter will be in contact with you um, explaining when your uh, interviews would be. And in that case, they may be um, uh, pushed a little bit later, but um, in any case, for the majority, that is when the interview window will be. Um, and it's uh, the interviews will be different for every office um, and also depending on your own availability. So make sure that if you need a little bit more time to prep that you mention this to the recruiter. 
And then around mid-August, or as I said, slightly later if the office is closed for the summer, um, all interview results will be communicated and you will then get to meet your uh, mentor. Of course, uh, school will then start around August, September, October for one or two of the schools, if I remember correctly. Yeah. And um, well, then that's when your one-on-one -on -one, um, mental uh, sessions will start. In, sorry, let me, there we go. Um, and then towards November, um, we will have a welcome as I meet. Um, we will then have a welcome um, okay. webinar where you can uh, meet all of your, uh, your peers. If you have any other questions, um, please reach out to MBA fellowships at bcg.com or the local recruiter, which is uh, that person's contact details are linked um, on the website, um, which these would you mind posting that uh, link in the chat for those who, who don't have it? Thank you.